Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about Triponema pallidum bacteria, Triponema pallidum characteristics, Triponema pallidum microbiology in details. So it will be very action-packed video. So let's start with that Triponema pallidum gram nature of this bacteria. And the Triponema pallidum is a spirochete, not typically categorized based on the gram staining, but you can easily see that under a microscope, it looks like spiral shaped structure. So spirochete is a completely different type. Diseases caused by uh, this Triponema pallidum, syphilis is the disease caused by this Triponema pallidum. Let's talk about the classification. The classification based on the oxygen availability. It is anaerobic in nature and nutrition. It is fastidious. That means it requires complex media and cannot be cultivated on artificial media. Okay, so we need this fastidious nature. It is anaerobic. So presence of oxygen will kill this spirochete. Next is uh, the virulence factors of Triponema pallidum. The virulence factors are outer membrane proteins known as TPRs. Okay, what these TPRs do? They aid in immune evasion. Okay, the next one is hyaluronidase, which facilitates the degradation of hyaluronic acid, which is a tissue layer protecting material. So it helps in the tissue penetration of Triponema pallidum. The next one here is the other parameter that is incubation period Triponema pallidum has a near about incubation period that ranges from 10 days to 90 days in case of primary syphilis infection the next parameter that we want to dis uh, discuss is antibiotic susceptibility what antibiotic can kill this Triponema pallidum highly susceptible against some antibiotics like penicillin uh, and doxycycline both the antibiotics work very well against Triponema pallidum next is antibiotic resistance if you talk about the resistance of antibiotic resistance is very rare still susceptible to primary treatment of antibiotic okay so there is no resistance found cultured methods regarding the Triponema pallidum now this is important it cannot be cultured on artificial media diagnosed via dark field microscopy or via PCR technology. So we have detection method. In the detection method, we'll talk about how to detect them. Dark field microscopy is utilized because spirochete is very well understood with the dark field microscopy. Even with the phase contrast microscopy can be easily identified based on the motile spirochetes. Under this dark field microscopy in leaving the spirochetes, you can easily find out from the sample, patient sample. Serological tests are there like RPR test and FTA ABS tests are out there which can still detect uh, the antibodies produced against the Triponema pallidum uh, spirochete. Okay, and we have PCR polymerase chain reaction that can detect uh, the specific DNA portion of Triponema pallidum and that can have a confirmatory test. So these are all important features of Triponema pallidum or spirochete for syphilis infection. I believe you have a clear idea about Triponema pallidum microbiology. If you like this video on Triponema pallidum, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.